Only this. So because five minutes. You get my Twilio screen, do you? Yes. Please tell me you do. All right. Uh, I just want to mention because the P phrase was mentioned. And <clears throat> uh, uh, as good as it sounds, uh, it, it's a bit of it's a, P phrase is something I've left behind for a uh, better practice, I hope. So here is what I would do if I were to install Twilio. I would have a first file called requirements.in, like uh, input. Requirements.txt would be empty here, and I will leave it empty for, for now. I just want Twilio, and I want to say, okay, what versions of Twilio are available? I don't know. And pip search won't tell you, but the nice trick is to say pip install Twilio version. I don't know. And you type and it tells you all the available version and it, it puts an error. And this is a brilliant error because out of the message, you can figure out all the available version. That's brilliant stuff. Now nah, I want the latest. Oh no, I want to be fancy. I'll take 6.45.1. So say okay, 6.45.1. My little API because I want to practice my pattern and I have the great talk from Redo and I want to try my twin stuff. Actually, that's the only thing I need. Maybe between your needs of a stuff like request and all the things, I shouldn't know about that. Now, how am I going to translate that stuff? Well, I would do pip install pip tools. Ah, luckily, it's already installed. Fine. So now I would do pip compile mm, my requirements in. What will this do? This will read this guy and we'll figure out what it needs to execute properly. Oh, I need certified, child dead, in uh, all the stuff, five time zone, request six. Uh huh. There they are. So now I have my requirements.txt, which is fully uh, populated. And the only thing I really rely on has been commented here. This is Twilio. All the rest, you know, request is a dependency of Twilio and Jardet is a dependency of request, so you can see the tree of dependencies spreading. So that's where you have way more control about what you want to do. Instead of peep freeze where you get that, and as you build dependency onto your own project, you will have collision in your great-grandchildren in compatible version, and you have no clue how to fix that. So I feel it's better to only require what you require what not what you require requires, you see, and stop it at round one. This tool will manage the, the, the whole lot. And say for some reason, I want, so what version of requests are available? Requests, and I say, I don't know. So the nice little trick, and I say, okay, 219.1. Can this work with Trilio? Because Trilio will try to come with that. Well, let's see. It will fail if it's impossible. And here, Trilio will have to deal with it. Happy days. So here's, that was my lightning talk about the pip tools and pip compile and the little twist you can put in your pip install to figure out the available versions. And the girl from the Panama is still playing in the back, so I think I'm in the game of five minutes, am I not? Ooh, I am. That's it. So cool. Yeah, I also was laughing a, a lot with, with the Carota de Panema, but that was so cool. I was actually having some issues with dependencies with Kedro, and I think this is going to solve my life. Thank you. That was awesome. Um, so what's the, what's the difference between, I mean, again, it's a newbie question. So what's the difference between requirements.in and requirements.txt? Requirements.in is the input, requirements.txt is the output, and would be the one you would pip install dash r requirements.txt when you actually deploy your project in your container, should I say. Mm, so if I pack my, if I like make a package with the, with the project, then, mm. oh, the stuff that is going to install when I do pip install. Oh, and you would commit the requirement.txt part of your project. 
thing is requirement.txt will be automatically managed, not manually managed. Okay, mm so if I want to add dependencies to the project, then I would add dependencies to the requirements.in. Yes, and okay. you would recompile, and you would need to manually recompile at that stage or put a trigger somehow that you would figure out that it has changed, it needs to deal with the other stuff. Okay, thank you.